the Sandmeyer reaction is going to be the topic of this lesson. And uh, the Sandmeyer reactions are a collection of reactions uh, most commonly performed starting with aniline. Uh, and in this case, aniline is going to react with nitrous acid to form what's called an arine diazonium salt. And an arine diazonium salt has a good leaving group. And we can replace that leaving group with uh, several different possible substituents, just depending on which reagent we add. And for those of you that are on the hook for these Sandmeyer reactions, it's more memorization than anything. Typically, I'm not going to be on the hook for the mechanism. Now this lesson's part of my organic chemistry playlist and I'm releasing these lessons weekly throughout the school year. So if you wanna be notified every time I post a new lesson or when I begin posting a new playlist, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification. All right, so your Sandmeyer reactions here and uh, in this case, we're gonna do this with a primary amine and, and we're gonna react it with what's called nitrous acid here. So it turns out that sodium nitrite with an acid uh, like HCl here is gonna form HNO2, nitrous acid, you're just simply protonating the nitrite ion, okay. If you do it with HCl, you get the chloride arine diazonium salt. If you did it with HBr, you'd get the bromide arine diazonium salt. But the arine diazonium ion here is going to be the important part. Uh, now, notice HNO2 here. So the first time I ever saw an alternative for HNO2 is written as H-O-N-O. I read that as HONO. I didn't read it as nitrous acid. And I'm like, what in the world does HONO do? Well, just so that you don't think about what in the world does HONO do? That is just an alternative way of writing HNO2, nitrous acid here. So, so it turns out with a primary amine, nitrous acid converts them into these arine diazonium salts, which would be of interest. With a secondary amine, it would turn it into a nitrosamine, which is not gonna be synthetically useful for us and, or interesting anyway. So I'm gonna ignore that. Uh, but with a primary amine, it turns it into these arine diazonium salts. And this guy right here is a good leaving group, going to leave as nitrogen. And we can replace it with a lot of different groups, just depending on what we add. And basically, you're on the hook for some memorization here. And you just got to remember which, uh, which substituent we end up with in place of this guy. Uh, when you add each of these. Now with H3O plus, you're just gonna end up replacing it with an hydroxyl group to get a phenol. So uh, what's nice about these next three copper salts, so CuCl replaces it with a chlorine, CuBr with a bromine, CuCn with a cyanide. So those are easy to remember. We also can do the other halide, fluoride and as well. For fluoride though, it's not CuF, it is HBF4 point of memorization there. And same thing with uh, iodine, it's potassium iodide, the reagent of choice. And then finally, if you just want to replace it with a plain old hydrogen, which we technically don't have to draw in, it's H3PO2 here. So uh, these are all kind of the simple, just, you know, one, one, one substituent replacement and stuff like that. And then we have a little more of a complicated reaction here. And uh, in this case, it's not actually going to leave as a leaving group. So, but you're going to react it with another benzene and that benzene has to be electron rich. And so it needs an electron donating group attached to it. And what you're going to find is that you're going to still have your two nitrogens there. So, but you're going to end up with just two bonds there. So what you'd end up having is nucle uh, this guy doing nucleophilic attack on this nitrogen, pushing electrons over to this nitrogen. And that's why you end up with only a double bond. And then you've still got that electron donating group, and it's going to be attached in the pair position specifically. So that pretty much concludes the Sandmeyer reactions. Uh, lots of memorization, not much to know mechanistically. Now, if you found this lesson helpful, would you consider giving me a like and a share? One of the best things you can do to help promote the channel and also make sure other students get to see this lesson as well. If you're looking for the study guide that goes to this lesson, if you are looking for practice quizzes on amines or practice exams or practice final exams or a final exam rapid review, check out my premium course on chadsprep.com.